I have a very different perspective on what was wrong with Tony Hayward and his response, and it's almost the opposite of what you've implied. I actually think the best leadership during these recent couple years of crisis has been shown by the people in the uh, financial community, including and maybe even particularly Lloyd Blankfein of Goldman Sachs, who, as near as I can determine, um, did exactly what theory would say he should do, and is pretty much opposite to what all the conventional wisdom said he should do. And, you know, the conventional wisdom is kind of what you've just said, take responsibility, apologize, try to make things right. And if you go back and look at the testimony of all the financial industry executives, they did none of that. They certainly never took responsibility for the financial meltdown. What they did do is, I think, two things that I think are, are much more effective than the stuff that we often hear about and import Tony Hayward, I think, actually tried to do. And that is, number one, to put things in context. So when Lloyd and his colleagues at Goldman Sachs were accused of trading against against their clients and doing a bunch of other things. They explained, you know, they basically said, this is how financial markets work. Every trade requires the party on the other side. And yes, we took trades across from, uh, we did in fact short some securities that we were, you know, selling to other people, but that's how the world works. And we're extremely unapologetic. They certainly never offered, nor has Jamie Dimon, nor has anybody else, to pay for anybody's financial losses. And at the end of the day, if you take a look, much though this may go against, I guess, as I said, conventional wisdom, uh, you will see that Goldman Sachs and the financial industry has done very well. They certainly have not suffered the financial consequences of British Petroleum. There's no $20 billion trust fund that some government official has unlimited access to. Their share prices are down less than BP's, and people have kind of moved on. And it, I think it goes to a quote uh, from Henry Ford II, who once said, never complain, never explain. And that is, again, I think quite different from conventional wisdom. But my point would be that if, you know, if you're willing willing to basically put yourself out there as a punching bag and say, mea culpa, you will find that many people will be willing to take punches at you for pretty much as long as you're willing to stand there and take it.